Hey guys, Jameson here again from CK Worldwide. So today we're going to talk torches. We're going to talk tungsten grinders, cold wire feed. We're going to get into uh, tungsten Pyrex cups, and we're going to touch on CK's welding machines. Okay. So starting with the torches, guys. As you probably know, CK has been around since 1967, um, innovating all things TIG. They do everything from a 70 amp micro torch all the way to a 500 amp um, flex head torch, okay? So CK is the only brand that does a flex head torch in a water cooled torch, all right? So CK has innovated the flex head. They've indicated flex lock, right? They're the creators of the Pyrex cup, famous for their, their slim and sleek design. Um, lightweight torches, all 100% duty cycle, okay? So when it comes to a water-cooled torch, they're not all created equal, okay? So what we've done here is we have a 350-amp Miller torch, and we've got a 350-amp um, CK torch. So I'll zoom in here, see if you can capture this. But you can see the difference in the water cooling. This is the CK torch, right? You get about four times the cooling capacity on this torch, Brass instead of copper. It's really built to just a better, better uh, spec, right? So if your torch stays cool for longer, that's the goal, right? Uh, we got beautiful power cables, guys. This is our Superflex cable. Doesn't kink. You can wrap it around your arm. You know, you get a nice leather hose covering to protect this from the shop floor. If you're in a, a, you know, a tougher environment like a mod yard or a rig truck and you're dragging it through gravel, you're going to want to go with our, our, our rubber hose, of course, right? Everything's available in a one-piece or a two-piece, 12-and-a-half-foot, 25-foot, flex head, uh, rigid, valve or no valve, customizable lengths, torches. So whatever your TIG needs, we got it. All right, come on over here. We're going to talk cold wire feed. So, guys, th this is our WF5. This, this machine's been around for a lot of years. We started with a WF1, then we went to a WF3. This is the latest rendition, okay? So what you're going to do is you can put your, your big 30-pound 30, 30 spool in there, and that's for uh, any wire, aluminum, stainless, an exotic, steel, doesn't matter to us. Um, we will sell you a conduit, a hardwire conduit or a software conduit for your choice, right? So the big advantage to a cold wire feed system, um, in my mind, I've done, I've done the math on this, and anything over 12 to 18 inches and repetitive parts, this really starts to pay off, right? Uh, wh whether you're in position or out of position. So we have, this is one orientation. You can buy, you know, a 350 amp torch here um, with a neck or a head mounted uh, wire feed. You can also get this mounted on the neck depending on your application, right? So this is our, our hand pendant. So this allows you to change the angle. So you can be welding away like this and you can set your feed rate. Maybe if you're going around a pipe, right? You can control your, your wire angle. So that's, that's handy. A lot of pipe welders are using that these days. We're going to move this so you can see the controls here, right? So, of course, we have our power on, power off. You have precision control over your wire speed, all right? So what CK has done with this machine is they've set a low RPM uh, motor so you have finite control at low RPMs versus like a standard MIG machine if you just put a spool of wire in there. It's, it's terrible at low, uh, low rotations, right? So... You have your delay and your retract, so that's when you, when you press this button, you can set a delay on when your wire comes out, because you want to establish that arc and establish that puddle. You can also turn your retract on, so when you pull your finger off the button, it's going to pull that wire back into the, uh, into the feed, okay? So you can turn those on and off as you choose. Now, uh, when you start with this machine, I get everyone to start on continuous mode. So they can figure out their feed rate and their deposition rate, make sure they're comfortable with everything. And then once they're once they're comfortable, we start playing with the pulse. 
So we turn the pulse on and that allows you to drive an amount of wire, a set amount of wire into the puddle. And then you can set a delay or a dwell and, and a break in between each drive. So you have precision control over every aspect of the wire feed setup, all right? So if you pick one of these machines up, I recommend starting on everything on one. You got your delay, retract, drive, and dwell all on one. Play with your wire feed speed a little bit and your amperage and um, start there and then you can, you can dig a little deeper from there, okay? So while we're here, let's talk about our tungsten grinder. So why use the tungsten grinder? I, I, gotta, I go to a lot of shops and guys are frustrated with contamination in their weld and they go and they start changing all aspects um, of their TIG setup, like a new tungsten, a new, a new torch, new consumables, when really what they're doing is they're grinding their tungsten on a zirconia or ceramic grinding wheel and they're contaminating their tungsten. You should be, used, you should be using a diamond wheel. Right? If you're just welding something in the garage, it doesn't matter. But if you're following a weld spec, you should actually be, be using a grinding wheel. So how this works, is you take your tungsten. We're going to pretend that's tungsten for a minute. So let's say you got a 1 8 tungsten. You set your angle to 1 8. You say you size to 1 8, I should say. Then you set your angle. We're going to go 30 degrees. You tighten that down. My Allen wrench has turned, now turned into a tungsten. We're going to stick it in there. You turn it on, and that's going to grind your tungsten at a precision angle. That's going to hold it. The nice thing about this is you can change the location where your tungsten is being ground one, two, three times. And then you can flip your diamond wheel. So that diamond wheel lasts for a very, very long time. You can also mount this to a bench, right? With this, you can hook it up to a vacuum system if you're worried about uh, tungsten dust. And the price point's excellent. These are about $1,100 um, Canadian. So, you know, you can't, you can't really beat it. Okay, perfect. We'll move on. Okay, guys, moving over here. We're just going to talk tungsten for a minute. The majority of tungsten comes from China, guys. There's a few German tungstens, but they're extremely expensive. No one wants to pay for those. So um, what's unique about CK tungsten is they've had the same supplier for, I believe it's 28 years straight now. So when you buy a CK tungsten, you get consistency. You, you know, other, other tungsten private label brands, they're just buying the cheapest tungsten they can find, you know, that month, that year. And uh, that's when you start to get splitting and inconsistencies, right? Moving on to our, our Pyrex. So um, CK invented the Pyrex cup. The advantage of the Pyrex cup is it allows you to get in a, a tight area and you have full visibility so you can see right through that cup, Okay. And uh, I want to go back to the tungsten for one minute, guys. So, of course, we've got all the major tungsten. It's 32%. Don't let, don't let Lindy prax air fool you. This is still 80% of tungsten sales in North America, okay? Available through Canada Welding Supplies. So we've got a zirconia, um, seriated, of course, lanthanated 2%, still populated, pop, uh, popular, I should say. This is the, the newest addition of tungsten. This is our laser tungsten. So this is a trimix, right? Industry knows it as E3. We call it laser trimix, chartreuse in color. So this is going to be great for your inverter style machines, flipping back and forth between AC and DC applications, between your aluminum and your, and your steel, okay? Great with robotic uh, applications as well. Okay, guys, now I'm most excited to talk about our machines. So we've got, we've got two machines. We'll start with our, our big boy here, our MT375, okay? So this is a 375 amp power source, AC and DC, okay? And this is our, our WC water cooler 375, dual pump motor. So when you buy this setup, you get everything all in one. 
You get your torch, your ground, your foot pedal, um, your water cables. All you add is, is argon gas and coolant to this machine, and you're up and running, okay? A few unique things about this, this setup. CK gives you their uh, a 350 amp uh, TL, stands for trim line, 350 amp torch, and it's a flex head, okay? So really nice setup there. Another added value here is, is CK's foot pedal. So normally you're going to use this, you're, you're going to step on this as a foot pedal, right? Let's say you're in a tight spot and you're up, uh, up in a scaffold or working overhead. Normally, instead of having to put this between your legs and press it, you simply pop this out. There's an amperage control inside the foot pedal, okay? So you don't have to go spend another 500 bucks on an amperage control. It's already in the machine. So the nice thing about this, this is our steady grip amperage control. You can run it like this. I prefer, you can remove this, this handle with the set screw there. I prefer to run it like this, right? That, that's my, my, my choice of setup there, right? So if we can just zoom in on the interface here, I'm going to switch sides. So what CK's done is they've made a, just an intuitive, user-friendly interface here, all right? So with this machine, when you plug it into 480 power, you are going to get 375 amps. When you plug it into 220 power, you're going to get 275 amps, all right? A full AC-DC. So when you're in DC mode, you're going to have your amperage, your post gas flow, your pulse frequency, and your background amps. Excuse me. All right. So you're going to go DC. You, you will start with pulse off, and you're going to go in TIG mode. All right. So that, that's the basic stainless or steel welding setup. When you're going to when you want to go in AC mode, you turn that to AC. So uh, panel or remote. So you can you can scratch start with this and just change on your panel. Or if you go to remote, that's going to that's going to activate your foot pedal or your amperage control. Right. So AC, remote, you got your full pulse, you know, TIG, TIG or stick, of course. But as soon as you activate that AC mode, you have your AC frequency and your AC balance. Now, these are going to move in typically in coordination. We have, our, we have our blue zone settings here so you don't get lost in the background apps, right? So that's really handy when you're setting up your first weld. When you, pull this, when, you, when you buy this machine, it comes just like this. There's no assembly required. It comes in a crate ready to go. Just add your argon and your coolant, okay? So that that's that's the MT375 in a nutshell, guys. The price point is incredible. This is this is half the price of a dynasty. You get a lot of machine for, for good bang for your buck, right? Lastly, we're going to talk about our smaller machine. So this actually came out first. This machine's been on the market for five or six years now. As you can see, the interface is very similar. It's actually identical. And the reason we kept the interface for the 375 is because we had so much success with this. This machine comes with a 150 amp flex head torch. It comes with your foot pedal. We've just updated it, so this is actually going to come with the steady grip foot pedal as well. That's coming out very shortly, all right? So just more added value. And this is a nice portable machine. You know, you got your, you know, for, for 22 pounds, you've got full AC TIG wherever you need to go, right? And you, you get up to 200 pulses per second in, in AC TIG. So that's, that's pretty unique. Other than that, guys, thanks for supporting CK.